kind of talk about what, with the widespread power outages, I mean, we were talking about this earlier mm -hmm. with our trees just being so delicate right now from all the rain we've seen, yeah. especially with the flooding in May as well. Exactly, yeah, with that, like, the whole environment, the whole surface is completely saturated. And this has been the case for pretty much Southeast Louisiana for the past few weeks. We've seen mm -hmm. rain showers after rain showers. They've been quick, but they have pretty much taken a toll on the Southeast Louisiana as well. And that's, that's the point of this as well. These trees are kind of softened right now. And with that, these trees could fall on some power lines and possibly knock out some power as well, Ashley. Oh, and that's what we're expecting. And, and that will likely occur within the next couple of hours. I mean, folks lose power just with a, a normal summertime yeah. thunderstorm. And that's just a quick winds, maybe 40 to 60 mile per hour winds. And that's just not very long. That's exactly. just for a quick duration. We're talking hours of feeling these winds. And winds, these are actual winds right now. So uh, sustained winds at the airport, 25 miles per hour, Thibodeau 35, that's going to increase. Sustained tropical storm force winds at the New Orleans airport, 43 miles per hour. And these wind gusts are picking up too, uh, Matt. Yes, yes, they are. Yeah. And with that, it's not going to slow down anytime mm -hmm. soon. These wind gusts are only going to increase, in, especially in the Baton Rouge, exactly and even up to new roads and down to Thibodeau, these wind speeds are only going to increase as we go into the evening hours as well. And to point out, wind gusts 64 miles per hour, so yeah. we're getting higher at the New Orleans airport, possibly some hurricane force gusts. We're not far from that hurricane <laughs> force criteria, yes. and the threat for hurricane force winds, that actually is, has increased for our inland areas, so the hurricane force winds penetrating uh, more to our inland areas, maybe all the way up to past the I-12 and I-10 corridor. Extreme wind warning. This is going to continue until 430 unless uh, told otherwise. This might get extended into the later portions of the evening, especially since it has slowed down. Yeah. Northwest at 10 miles per hour in Assumption Parish is included in that extreme wind warning. And so areas shaded in the yellow, you need to treat this as if it's a tornado warning, but a tornado warning for one to three hours. These areas could have winds of 115 miles per hour for an extended amount of time. So this is extremely dangerous, not just a severe thunderstorm oh, warning no. or a tornado no. warning. No, you need to take the same precautions. If this gets extended or expanded into the Baton Rouge Metro, you need to take this very, very seriously. And that's why we're saying get ready to shelter in place because again, we have a long night ahead. Yes. So what can folks do yes, during do. the storm? Well, during the storm, make sure you bunker down. That is the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Make sure you go to the most interior room. You may not have a most interior room, but Hey, uh, have bathroom or anything like that, a closet or a pantry in your kitchen that may have to do for now. And also pretty much, hey, if you're in any trap, if you're in any trap floodwaters as well, do not go outside as well. So that's, if you need to get out, hey, try to get to higher ground, but make sure you're not in any closed attics as well. And don't walk or swim in any flood water. That's the most important thing right there. So. A, a good um, item to bring if waters are coming up. I know we're, we're saying, you know, stay in an interior room, the uh, lowest level of your home, go up. If you go into a, a, an attic, mm -hmm. Keith brought this up earlier, just perfect idea. Bring an ax with you just in case you exactly. get trapped because exactly. you need to go up. And so that is very important. We always say stay out of flood waters. You'll know it's in there. There could be snakes, there could be debris, anything. anything. And, and, and then make sure your family members know what the plan is if you're trying to get out quickly. Exactly. And then if your power is lost, obviously you're going to have to plan for that. Now let's send it over to meteorologists. I think, our, oh, anchors. We're sending it to the anchors first. Let's send it back to you guys.